Hello everyone and come on in, shut the door, it's dry inside, very wet outside as usual. We seem to have rain now f oh, from when? November? On and off. Uh, more on than off. This is a little introduction to a ride I did yesterday which is New Year's Day and this is a portion of that ride so I um, hope you're going to enjoy it. I'll just uh, arrange my hands a little more comfortably. Um, now unfortunately I must apologise for the smell in here because Spitfire here has uh, has been ridden through mud and slurry and uh, absolutely stinks so I've got a big cleaning job to do here and uh, also my clothing has got uh, rather dirty. Um, yes yeah, so I tried to ride through uh, what really was a was a a stream of slurry and uh, mud and it was not a good idea anyway if we draw a veil over that uh, arrangement because uh, this was supposed to be relaxing rides isn't it and uh, believe me that was not relaxing so uh, yes we had to go at riding the wet because uh, although it was dryish uh, the forecast was fairly good um, as I got towards the Lake District it started to come on to rain of course and there's a few spots of wet on the lens which I apologize for um, now this is a what uh, road was it we rode along oh yes the B5284 uh, through Crook and this comes off the um, it's an alternative small route road to the A590 to uh, towards Windermere and I discovered this because uh, there was a, a lot of roadworks uh, once when I was going to the Model Boat Club and uh, someone suggested well try the Crook Road. Well I'd not heard of it but anyway I found it, drove along it and it looked so great I thought well oh, this is a perfect road to go to motorcycling along. So that's what I've done and uh, I was it's the same road actually that uh, I tried to get along in all that snow and uh, decided uh, discretion turn around come back but this time we did actually ride through it and the sun came out too although there was a few spots of rain fairly quite a few spots of rain in fact um, the sun came out and it's uh, oh what a difference that makes when the sun comes out uh, the countryside just comes alive so I have decided, I have to say, after yesterday's experience that um, I will now be waiting for dry roads and sunshine. So there will be a bit of a break now before any uh, new videos come out because uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a while before we have any of that. But uh, there will be a few little stories. I'll, I'm pleased you've enjoyed the, uh, the short stories that I've uh, been putting out occasionally. There won't be that many of them, but uh, just occasionally. So and thank you very much and wishing you all once again a very happy new year. I hope 2024 uh, brings everything that you want and uh, you'll get some great rides and uh, we'll see you on rides throughout 2024 I feel sure um, on Spitfire and Hurricane Spitfire when it's washed and cleaned up and I have actually got myself one of these uh, these pet dryers to uh, to give it a dry down once it's going to take me about two to three days to get this really clean and uh, and my riding gear too uh, but uh, I will be drying it all down with this pet dryer which uh, I must have had foresight when I ordered it mustn't I that I wouldn't need it probably because it's winter uh, now this was actually David J he was the wire, for wire forest biker he did a little review on it and uh, his is the uh, Pet Hut, I think it's called. Uh, Pet Hut, something like that. Um, Pet Dryer. Uh, mine is a, a, well, it looks the same. And uh, they all look much the same. I think they all come from the same manufacturer in China, of course. And uh, I've just tried it out. And uh, it will. It's fantastic. Yes. So, so I think mine was £55. Pound. There was a special offer on, uh, on the seller at eBay. And uh, yeah, just £55. Pounds. And it's brilliant so i hope to get that nice and dry once it's all been washed and uh, cleaned and then lubricated afterwards so yeah i hope you enjoy this uh, little run it's about i think about 13 minutes the uh, the ride uh, it's all very wet very puddly but um anyway we'll uh, we'll enjoy that later on so i'll see you on the ride bye for now
Hello and welcome back. And we've just turned off the A591 at the runabout near Kendall and we're heading along the 5284. That takes us through the village of Crook and then on to Bowness. And this is the road, as I say, that we attempted to ride when there was snow around and decided no it was best to uh, turn around and come back and I have to say the, uh, that snow has uh, really caused an awful lot of trouble with uh, road surfaces uh, not just here but also on the way here coming through the villages of uh, Burton, Kendall and Holm it's, uh, really has played havoc but even worse on the Lyth Valley Road which runs from Bowness down towards the uh, the A road uh, which I use as a, a cut through and that is really appalling considering it's an A, a class road it's really dreadful condition but anyway we're on this road and we've got some lovely views opening up got some sheep on the move here and uh, lovely vistas uh, within towards the Lake District and we are actually in the Lake District of course but um, the uh, the views across there are just spectacular, I think. And that lovely sunshine, what a difference that makes. Now, I said that uh, rain was coming down, and yes, sure enough, it is. I have to keep wiping my visor here. And, uh, but the sun is behind me, which is good for me. Actually, you see the raindrops coming down, can't you? I suppose you would. As you can see, we've had a tremendous amount of rain. I mean, Lake District is renowned for rain, of course, but um, yeah, flooding is it's just horrendous. And I must say that I don't, whilst I do ride and have ridden in the wet, um, I don't find it that pleasant. Um, I'm never entirely comfortable riding in the wet, so I think I'm going to wait for dry roads now because uh, I do like to relax on these rides. I mean, I am a <laughs> Lanes Explorer of Country Roads relaxing rides after all. And if I don't relax, then you're not going to, are you? Talking about other um, channels, in fact, I, I was thinking about this. Um, and the ones that I watch, and there's, I think there's about 14 that I, um, my favorites. And uh, the reason I watch them is because I feel I'm in safe hands. They're never going to do anything silly. They're never going to go tearing around. Um, I don't like going fast, as you're aware. Um, it's not for me at all. I've done it in the past uh, when I was much younger. And I certainly don't want to do it now. So, yeah, they're the channels that I really look forward to. And uh, there are some fantastic ones. I mean... In no particular order, um, you know, Saddlebag 73, just love his rides, uh, lovely, lovely gentleman, um, wonderful riding, and uh, Mercer Moto, enjoy his, uh, his rides out in Switzerland, and um, first came across him when he, he did a tour to, uh, towards Wales, mid Wales, but he's also, uh, I think coming up, he's got, um, his trip to Sky with his uh, his friend uh, that's where going to be worth looking out for um, Bleary View enjoy his uh, his rides he also great contrast I think that's a lovely thing actually these uh, we all do something different we all we all got these channels but we all do it entirely differently and it's it's lovely having that contrast from one to the other. It's good to have you along on these rides. It does make a difference, actually, knowing that uh, hopefully I should get some film at the end of it and be able to share it with you. Do you 
also mention Martin Trafford, a uh, Moreland biker. Um, he has just recently put uh, a little ride around his local area. And, uh, oh, a stunning area he lives in. Wonderful. I must say, I feel very fortunate to be living up here, so close to this wonderful countryside. Getting to this part actually isn't the most pleasant, it, it's a lot of A-road riding if I choose to come that route. Another time I wouldn't if I wanted to ride this, this particular road again, I'd come up through the Lies Valley despite it being broken up badly. It's a much quieter road than the uh, A591. This road actually is signposted to the, um, the ferry across to uh, Hawkshead. But there's always a, the sign always says it's not running. I don't know what, I presume it doesn't run in the winter, I don't know. I'll have to find out about that because it'd be rather nice to be able to come along here and then go across on the ferry to Hawkshead and ride around Hawkshead. I did a lot of cycling around there with, uh, with my wife. We had a camper van and uh, we used to camp up over that way. Coniston in that way and um, yeah we used to go for rides on our uh, actually we took our Bromptons and uh, I'd geared them down so I had 10 speed instead of 5 and uh, an extra changer on and uh, it was marvellous in fact we did a lot of uh, touring in Wales on those Bromptons because they're handy because they fold up and you can pop them into a camper van quite easily Colours, isn't there? Along here. And some bumps. Yeah, given dry roads, this this would be a lovely, lovely run to do. Could really enjoy it then. It doesn't get overused either, despite it being that quieter sort of cut through route. And there are lots of little lanes if you notice on the left and right one there. Um, Another one down there. Oh, that'd be nice to explore. But not at the moment. Because they run over to uh, towards Brigsteer and places like that. done the the one year service on Spitfire. I decided to do an oil change, although it's not uh, mandatory after one year I decided I would just to check the filters were clear and they were and, uh, so I probably won't bother with uh, with Hurricane now that I know that uh, in fact Hurricane hasn't really done that many miles. This is done 2000.
towards um, a golf course on the left, I think it's a Windermere golf course on the left, and uh, heading then down towards Bowness, and that would be the end of our ride at uh, the junction uh, with the Lyles Valley Road actually. I think there are actually, uh, there's a couple of little roads that run off here that uh, would avoid even going down as far as that. Worth looking on the uh, building the survey map anyway. So yeah, fascinating area. And uh, quieter than the main areas of uh, places like Keswick. Up that way you can you can avoid the crowds in the Lake District quite easily. If you know where to to go. Where the roads are worn out, you can see a bit of it there, uh, you get these tram line effects. I've mentioned this before, and the bike, I don't know whether it never used to wear it, I suppose it just, roads never used to get that worn, did they, in terms of traffic on them. But now it's just diabolical. Yeah, that's a little road off and cuts off the corner. Right, there we are, this is uh, the junction with the Lyle Valley Road, uh, in bonus a joggle straight across and uh, that's bonus. Windermere off to the right and the Nile Valley to the left. So thanks ever so much for watching and uh, hope to see you when we get some dry roads and sunshine.